Hi, Denise Noyarez here with AIM Wellness Clinic, and I wanted to touch base with you a little bit about male fertility and marijuana, and how marijuana affects the sperm. So, if, you're, if you and your partner are having challenges conceiving, um, stopping marijuana would be very beneficial. So there is some research out now that has come out, and we're going to link that to you here in this blog, that shows the direct impact that marijuana has on sperm. So there are, are what they call THC receptor sites. So this, the THC doesn't only get you know adhere to your brain cells, but it literally does attach to your sperm, and it directly impacts uh, what the sperm needs to do in order to fertilize your egg. So even if your semen analysis comes back great, what your semen analysis doesn't tell you is the DNA in your sperm. And each sperm has these, um, I think it's 100,000 epi epigenomes, they're called, which turn on and off factors in your sperm to help it fertilize your egg. And there's like many different stages that the sperm actually goes through to actually reach the egg and be able to fertilize the egg. So the THC, when it attaches to the sperm, not only impacts um, your brain, as I said, but it impacts the, the way that the, the sperm can move. So it, it's been shown that even if motility looks good in your semen analysis, they can move fairly fast, but they peter out way before they get to the egg. So they lose their their um, their steam, their, their momentum. The other thing is the direction. They actually have receptors to be able to swim through and get to the egg to, to fertilize it but sometimes they don't know where to go. They don't know which direction to go. And the THC directly impacts that. So those are things that we know directly impact your fertility. So if you're trying to get pregnant naturally and it hasn't happened yet, or you're investing a lot of emotion and time in um, an IVF, really, it's really important to stop doing marijuana if you're, if you're using. And they, the study was done with any, um, for more than once a week. So, and the, but the good news is, is you can reverse the impact by stopping completely for at least two weeks. They've actually been able to see it go reverse back to normal. So it's really awesome that that can happen. So make sure that you're doing your part and helping you have a healthy baby because it, men, it's 50% you and you really do count. You make a difference in the health of your baby and the pregnancy. So there you have it. We're um, attaching the link so you can get more information and we'd love to hear what you have to say and have a more conversation about this.